Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today, I got a uh, discussion on the new movie for Dragon Ball Z, which has been, uh, I, I believe, roughly translated to uh, Frieza Reborn or Frieza's Resurrection. There's a couple translations, but they're all pretty similar to each other. Now, I know a lot of the other YouTubers have probably done this discussion as well, but uh, I stayed away from watching any of them, not to not, uh, I guess, pollute my opinion and, uh, you know, thoughts on it, I suppose. But this is all coming from myself, uh, to be quite honest. Because I stayed, like I said, I stayed away from all the other videos just to give my own original thoughts. Which will probably, you know, be similar uh, in some aspects to other ones, because there's some obvious things that needed to be pointed out that I'm sure a lot of people did point out. But, uh, there might not, it might not be as visually of a uh, engaging video as I usually have, I suppose, because it's just going to be, you know, a bunch of shots and then close-ups of the poster, for the most part, and then there's going to be some other things. But, uh, I just want to analyze this and discuss it with you guys. But, uh, that's basically it, and before I get into it, I want to thank you guys, because I got 250 subscribers now. Uh, and I've gotten, I looked at my, you know, statistics and whatnot. And I got about six, around 60 subscribers in the last two weeks. So, uh, any of you newer people, please comment below how you found my channel, because I'm very curious. I know the one uh, video, uh, what if Goku was sent to Namek instead of Earth? Uh, that video got really popular, so uh, thank you everyone for watching my stuff and all that stuff. But, I guess without further ado, we should begin this discussion. Now, one of the very first things to point out, which I'm sure most people notice, is obviously uh, Frieza, and I'm uh, pretty positive all you other people, you know, think this as well. It's pretty obvious uh, and evident of what's going on here. Frieza clearly has a godly aura. It has not been confirmed whatsoever, but it's pretty uh, evident that he has a godly aura of some sort, and uh, I mean, if you really think about it, this would have to put him above the level of uh, probably Beerus, in fact, because uh, to do a little segue, if you see Beerus and Whis to the left, you see that, like, Whis kind of looks like he's in a uh, aggressive pose, and Beerus just kind of, you know, doing his thing over there. But Whis looks like he's in some sort of an aggressive, you know, uh, defensive or offensive pose, whichever you prefer. But he definitely looks like it's in a combative state of some sort. Now, that could be a visual thing because everyone's kind of in a combative state. Piccolo, uh, Krillin, and uh, from what I understand, the the person in the you know green tracksuit is uh, Gohan. From what I understand, it has not been confirmed, but uh, it's not Yamcha and it's uh, probably not Goten. But from what I understand, it is in fact Gohan. And I'll get into that a little bit later when I talk about Goku and Vegeta. But uh, everyone seems to be fighting, so... My point there is that why would everyone be fighting if, you know, Krillin and, uh, you know, Piccolo, arguably, would not be able to do much against Frieza. Uh, maybe they can fight the uh, henchmen down the bottom, the Frieza's men. But uh, it's really not, nothing uh, has been confirmed, really. But I'm just saying, it could be just a uh, little visual thing to make the poster and the, the thing look more interesting. But uh, that's... What I gotta say about Frieza is, yeah, he definitely has a godly form. Uh, it's gotta be very powerful. I would assume it would be above Whis's level because if it wasn't, then what would really be the real threat? But then again, Whis and Beerus are both kind of neutral in the aspect that they don't really care about Earth and uh, presumably other worlds as, as uh, uh, other worlds as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on to Goku and Vegeta here. Obviously, we can see. That Goku has a different outfit than what he usually wears. And it has been speculated this is him training under Beerus. Which would be very, very interesting. But, uh, I mean, it's a little bit weird why he would train under Beerus and not Whis. But maybe Whis isn't really uh, up for teaching as much anymore. But it's very, uh, it's all very speculative. Now, a really interesting thing is, um, if you look... Like, in the corners here, you can see electricity, and on Goku's side, we have red electricity, or like a uh, pinkish sort of electricity, and over by Vegeta, we have a bluish sort of electricity. It's, it is actually is just blue. And 
it could be said that that could be uh, relative to what their auras would look like. Like, you know, Goku had the red aura, but and Vegeta could presumably have a blue aura as a, uh, you know, a presumable and potential Super Saiyan God form, which I'm sure we're all uh, hoping for dearly in this film, which is a very high possibility in my opinion. Uh, now that we're actually seeing this, I didn't originally think that it would happen, but now that we're seeing what I'm going to get into in a little bit. Um... But as for the auras, I don't necessarily know if the auras are very representative of that uh, transformation themselves. Because obviously Vegeta, we don't know what his color will be. But if you look at Goku, it's not really the same color as his aura. It's just a pinkish, uh, reddish color. And I think it's just a visual effect in my personal opinion. But uh, only time will tell. But that lightning right there doesn't... The, the aura, the colors around the lighting is not necessarily... Uh, the same as his Super Saiyan God aura. I would say Freezes is closer to this, his Super Saiyan God aura, in my opinion. But as for the outfits, Goku has no weighted clothes on it appears, and he has this new kind of robe, uh, gi type outfit on, and uh, whatever that symbol is, I'm sure there's no way to translate it, just kind of uh, like a little symbol, there's probably no uh, lettering in it, or whatever. Uh, I'm not, I don't know Japanese, so I couldn't tell you. But there's not much to say about that other than there's potential that he could be training under Beerus. Now, I looked at Vegeta, and it didn't look like Vegeta had trained at all, and, and nothing looked very, uh, you know, new to me, per se. But then I saw, and there should be an image on screen, I saw a, like a, not a scan, but a design that was taken out of context of the portrait, but... It did have some of the similar features as the uh, poster had, but it was kind of like a full-bodied Vegeta uh, as most. I probably should just bring up the image myself for myself to look at. Uh, I would say it would definitely, definitely would be a smart move. Now, where did I put it? It's somewhere here. Well, as I was saying, as I'm getting the uh, image because I can talk while I'm doing it. Uh, if you look around the neck region of Vegeta, like where the clothing ends, here it is. I got the picture. You can see that his undershirt is quite different, actually. Because if you look uh, near the collar region of the shirt, it's uh, it actually has like a full collar. It's like got a little bit of an opening, and it's a, di a different design than what he's used to. And it's very, very, very hard to see, but under near the belt region of his, uh, like right where his armor ends on the bottom. You can see there's also a line going down there from, uh, you know, his, um, I guess crotchal region. And then it, they split off the line. So it's definitely a different design. And that could lead me to believe he's doing the same kind of training Goku is doing as well. And if you look at the same battle armor, which, I mean, could be a different battle armor in general, it looks uh, different as well. Some vague similarities, uh, like the chest plate area still has the lines, the back plate, um, but there's some differences there. But it's definitely very interesting. So I assume Goku and Vegeta are both training under uh, whoever. I would assume they're probably doing the same training, but uh, nothing has been confirmed at all. Now I do want to quickly, uh, very quickly, touch upon the uh, two henchmen that Frieza has. Uh, I don't quite remember their names at the moment, but uh, it was something. New names are really hard for me to remember. It was some. Uh, it wasn't exactly easy pr to pronounce, but it was an interest. It was a different name. Um, but those two in particular, I'm not sure whether or not they're actually going to be powerful. But from my understanding, their mission was to uh, resurrect Frieza, which is interesting because a lot of people I believe from the trailer assume that Goku uh, was reviving someone because uh, the translation or whatever for that trailer was Goku uh, saying that he wants Shenron to bring back someone or something around there and it's very interesting and another thing I want to point out about that early trailer is that if you look at Goku he's a Super Saiyan and he's wearing his regular uh, you know uh, gi from you know the films and the anime as well he's wearing his regular outfit so whether or not that scene takes place far before whatever sort of training or whatever leads him and Vegeta as well to get into these different outfits uh, whether or not that's t that scene in the trailer takes place far before then or 
uh, whether or not that trailer isn't exactly representative of the final product is really unclear right now, but I thought it, it was interesting to point that out. Uh, that, that he did look different, that he was a regular Super Saint in that part. Uh, but I can move on to Krillin, who obviously does have no hair. He's in his regular, uh, you know, as we know him state from, I guess, the uh, last time we saw him like this was in the Cell games. Because uh, in the boost side, he looked quite different. He had hair, and he had hair in Battle of Gods as well. But it's nice to see Krillin bald again. I always thought he looked a bit goofy. But um, it's very interesting to why he looks like that now. But uh, I'm not going to complain too much, but I am curious. Now Piccolo over here, there is not much to say. Uh, there really, really is nothing to uh, take note upon I, that I can see myself, uh, to be quite honest with you. But if we go in... And now that I'm really zoomed in on this character with a jumpsuit, it really does. The face looks like Gohan. And if they're redesigning Gohan, I'm not a fan of this redesign because I do like Gohan. He's not my favorite character, but I do like Gohan. Uh, but I'm not a huge fan of this this uh, design. I don't know what this all is. I would say maybe he's training as well, but like what? It's not the same. It's not very similar to the other outfits that Vegeta and Goku are wearing. I mean, Vegeta and Goku have very different outfits as well, but this looks like a more modern, you know, civilian type getup. So maybe he was just jogging. I don't know. Uh, I really have nothing to say on it. I mean, it's really hard to speculate on that because it's just so different. It just looks like a modern kind of uh, a Japanese kind of jumpsuit for jogging in a tracksuit, I guess. But uh, I really can't say anything on that I just am very curious there's definitely something there I think but I really cannot say it myself but I guess from what I'm you know thinking that's really it guys one thing I will point out that we all wanted to see Goku and Vegeta fuse into a Super Saiyan God Vegeta uh, Gogeta uh, presumably Gogeta you know with the dance and all that and I know it's not canon exactly but it is a uh, the Gogeta form itself is pretty much what it would be. I doubt, a, you know, Toriyama would make it look any different, call it anything else. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the fusion would be. It's it's a what a fusion that's pretty, uh, I suppose, a realistic scenario. And I'm sure they won't have him learn the dance in the movie. If they do do a dance, uh, I'm sure he'll just, you know, magically know it. And we'll all assume that it's whatever. But... I mean, the way I'd see it is if Frieza becomes, you know, more powerful than even Whis, then yes, uh, they would have to fuse into Gogeta and defeat him. But uh, it'd be interesting to see if he carries over into a new film or not. It's very interesting in indeed. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it. And if you're new around my channel, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. It Probably be a good idea too. I put out a lot of Dragon Ball Z videos. You can check on my channel and decide whether or not you want to subscribe or, you know, decide just based upon this video. But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. That's basically been it. Uh, I pretty much put out all my thoughts on the table. I didn't want to split it up into a bunch of videos like uh, other people probably would. But I just wanted to make one video. And if I think of anything else later down the line, I will make another video. But this is all my thoughts that I have um, on the table right now. And I did make a video a few months back discussing this film before any news is out. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below if anyone's interested in that at all. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see how my the thoughts I have have changed since then because we've actually gotten information. But before it was all speculation for absolutely everything because we knew nothing about the film. So links to that will be in the description below. The quality is really terrible in it but I think the content's good enough. But yeah that's basically been it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.